So I had this crazy idea, right? I uh, I was just chilling, you know. I realized it's been like a month and a half since my last video upload. My last video upload was the final episode of the Scania series, and in that, I was saying, "Hey, I'm not really having any plans to do a season three because I don't really want to work on Scania that much anymore. I want to put my main focus on Luna and mainly Luna because that's where I." I just want my head to be right now. I don't really care about Scania upgrades right now anymore. So because of that, I don't really think a season three will be coming. But I figured what I can do instead is kind of have more of a additional weekly series on the channel. Um, just to kind of keep things up and going. Again, it's been a month and a half since I've last posted anything. But I might as well just start posting right now. What is up guys, this is Kobe here and welcome to a new series on this channel. Uh, it's going to be called Road to End Game. Now, I don't necessarily consider myself in game just because I'm level 250 doesn't mean I'm up there yet. There are still many more bosses that I have to overcome. It doesn't just stop at hard will. I got to be able to make it to Chaos Dusk, Hard Dunkle, Varus Hilla, and Black Mage. Now, I'm not saying Black Mage is going to happen in this series. I don't even know what the goal of this is going to be. This is just going to be a weekly series until I feel like I'm not going to do it anymore. Because if I felt like I was going to upload weekly up until I cleared Black Mage, this would be going on forever. <laughs> I, I legit have no idea how long getting to Black Mage would even take, especially since this whole entire account has been completely free to play since March of 2019. So, I don't think I could work with that. But, I do want to take out these three bad boys maybe someday in the series. You know, we're going to have to figure out when that's going to be done. I don't really have a set party to be able to do that right now. You know, we, we kind of barely have the levels hanging for hard will. We, we got enough damage for hard will, especially with these 4th V skills going on and whatnot. But, these Tenebrous bosses, this is definitely just completely out of reach and just not, not a part of anything that I can do. Uh, but anyway, what this series will be about, again, it is going to be a weekly series and every week. I'm going to try my best to put these videos out probably around Wednesday, preferably Wednesday at 10 a.m. Korean time. That's like 8 p.m. my time u.s central so 6 p.m pacific u.s and 9 p.m u.s eastern time is when these videos will mainly be dropping again just something every week you can look forward to the reason why i'm choosing that date and that time specifically is because wednesday oh no it's thursday at 10 a.m korean time it's wednesday at 8 p.m my time u.s central the <laughs> The reason why I'm doing that is it's after weekly boss reset, and it's when we are able to achieve the ranking on the Awake patch. And uh, I haven't really covered much of the Awake rankings on this yet. There's a lot I need to talk about, there's a lot I need to go over with my progression in this game. And uh, a lot of plans that I have going on, and kind of the characters that I'm playing, to be able to get my Dark Knight as strong as I can be. Now I know this is a little weird. I'm going from Indigo series off at a from a 15k stat level 225 Dawn Warrior to a level 250 31k stat Dark Knight, um, but yeah, that, that is a lot of ground to cover, you know. <laughs> it, it's a little weird. Basically, long story short, uh, the Dawn Warrior would just level up. It would finish the cores. It would start looking in the market for epic bonus potentials and better flamed items. And then those items would be scored with 30% traces. And then I would eventually get to 17 stars. And then after everything is 17, I start you potty everything. Before I do all of that, I want to make sure I get a good little, you know, secondary. You know, after the cores are done, maybe something like unique and epic, you know, so on and so forth. There's just a whole lot of stuff going on. So... It is a shame that I'm not really covering the 15 to 30k stat range, level 225 to 230, I mean 250 on video, but 
that was basically just mainly the entire rundown. Getting to 30k stat on KMS as free to play isn't exactly very difficult. And when I say that, it probably will take the average person about a year of play time to be able to achieve that. Now, a year is a long time. Don't give me that. Don't, 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 don't get me wrong. A year is a long time. But that's really just the amount of time it takes to, you know, level the symbols. If any regular person was playing and was somewhat dedicated to the KMS grind in one year, they should be able to reach level 250 with 30k stat and at least 6k on their legion. Uh, so this is coming from my perspective. I'm a year and four months in, soon to be five months coming these next couple weeks. But I mainly just want to pick it up from there. I'm not going to go too in depth with the equips right now. Uh, I'll go over what's kind of important. I, you know, I 21% of this from the event rings or the event cubes in the shop. I'll go over my items more in depth maybe around the time Awake is over. Because then it'll be like a year and a half. And I tend to be doing these equipment updates every six months. So you can just kind of take a glance at what I have. Some of it is pretty much the same as it was back in March. Other items... Uh, other items are a bit different. Take this weapon for example. I've kind of tiered it up uh, Actually, and it's 15 stars waiting for 5 10 15 to get it done I sold my old hat for 3 bill and I bought a cooldown hat with 15% strength for a 6.5 bill um, I Don't recall 20 starring this in the March up video But it's 20 stars and still is this earring this took 4.5 bill to get the 20 stars and this took 600 mil to get to 20 stars. This was on a 5, 10, 15 event. And this was on a 30% off event. Uh, these are mainly the same. The glove. The glove is 22 stars now. <laughs> if you saw the March video, it was at 20 stars unique. Now it's 22 stars legendary. The exact same glove. I didn't change it a bit. Uh, well, I changed it a lot, but... It's not a, like a completely different glove. It's the same glove, just with legendary main pot, 8% critical damage, 15% strength, and the bonus pot is 2% all stat and 10 strength. The glove, massive gains. It is easily my most expensive item of this entire equipment set. I would say this item goes somewhere between 16 and 18 bill. That's more than probably my weapon and my secondary combined. Now, the secondary is new. Uh, this came in April, like a month after the equipment video, during the haste event when I was grinding to 250. 40% IED, 30% boss damage, 9% attack a main pot, and the bonus pot is 18% attack. I bought this for like 7.5 bill. Nice little go there. I recube the emblem a little bit for the main pot. I used a pack of 12 black cubes, and I got two line attack. So I figured I'm just going to keep it. Third line's trash, useless, but... Two line attack is gonna be good for now, and then uh, just got some other things. You know, I got the hard lucid and the hard bull metal. This is the monster park metal. I don't remember if I had it in the March video or not, but it's there. Uh, and, and then we got a crystal heart. So a lot of things are going to be done as far as equipment plans go. For damage wise, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get a fairy heart from the awake clay shop in August twentieth. Which will be like in a month. I don't know how many more episodes that will be. But that's going to be a thing. Uh, and after that, I'm mainly trying to primarily focus on getting some decent meso equips. So I can grind more comfortably. And at the same time, I'm starting my saving funds in order to purchase a Luna Petite pet. Which is a vacuum cleaner pet that vacs up all the items in the maps that you're training at. Which makes much better meso gains. And then after that, I'm going to start making my way to like 255. So I'm sitting on one bill right now. I kind of sold a bunch of things here and there. I was at 700 mil before I did. There's a lot of used items I had, you know, a few thousand occult cubes and just whatever spell traces were laying around. So I gained 350 mil off of that. So I'm starting off this series with one bill. Uh, I hope I can save it properly. I should be able to just fine. But really the main goal is to be able to get... That extra 6.5 bill because petite pets are worth 7.5 bill right now uh, in order to purchase those. I also need to make sure I have money from a fair for a fairy heart in the awake meso shop because it is worth 2 bill. 
So for this episode, it's only going to cover a few days of footage, not a week, because it is currently Sunday, going into Monday, um, here in about an hour, so it resets in like 54 minutes, so it's only going to cover like three days of the week instead of seven full days, which is, you know, it's whatever, but what I want to show you guys right now is my characters that I'm going to be playing on for the majority of this series, It's the, I've got a whole little planner of the characters I have that I do weekly bosses on to help me get Meso for the gains that I need to make on this Dark Knight. So we got the main, this guy runs hard bosses up to hard will, you know, nothing really too different from what I've been doing for a while. I've been 250 since April and I'm probably going to stay 250 until the end of August once I get the Typhoon Potion uh, and that's really just how things are going to be. Next up, I have my cannon shooter, Blueface Baby 2, uh, level 226. This guy is basically capable of killing Lotus and Damien, just like the Soul Master is able to. I don't normally do it every week because I'm lazy, but I should probably start working on that now. It can do CPAP in like 7 minutes, but I am pretty likely to die out. I do need to work on that a little bit on this character. Um, and it can kill bosses like Seville and below with relative ease. So it's a really nice weekly boss meal I have, and I'll, I mainly play this character every day to cap coins. As you can see, I've already capped my coins for today. I cap coins on this character, and I do daily bosses on this character. So I am actively playing on this character every day. Next up, I have my Bishop. Now, a lot of y'all don't know about this character. I made this character a while back, but I decided to continue fun to get more in April slash May, mainly May. From, you know during the anniversary patch while season two of the Scania series was in production and the main goal of this character was to be able to act as the support of a hard boss party and I have been doing that successfully peep game hard loose and metal and you know I, I do get a bit of the cut from the boss chops as well the first hard loose clear I got a dagger I got somewhere close to like 500 mil off of that cut cuz <laughs> bit ridiculous as far as funds go, this is my second most funded character on this account behind the Dark Knight. Uh, the main reason why is because it has epic bonus potentials. Um, a lot of epic bonus potentials that a lot of my characters don't have. Uh, this character will be leveled later in the series. I do want to get this guy to 235, but that's not going to be for a while. And when I say a while, I mean like October. <laughs> Come next haste event, this guy is rushing to 235. I just gotta make sure that I go ahead and get enough of um, arcane forest and whatnot to be able to do decent damage in uh, clock tower because clock tower is gonna be like the main go to map on this character all the way up from 220 to 235. And it's gonna be a lot more convenient once I do get that Luna Petite pet, so I'll actually be able to make some decent money trading this guy as well. The V Matrix, you know, I got my Benediction at level 30. Uh, other skills might need some work. So the nodes that I do get in this guy at 235 will definitely be used on this guy. And then for event coin shops in the future, or just any other events, I might put them on this character as well. I'm not to think about it. Either this or my Hoyunk. But as far as solo bosses goes, this guy does kill up the Sivo. It can do Sivo in five minutes with guild skills. Um, and then other bosses, you know, much faster, of course. Maybe with the exception of HMAG, because HMAG on a bishop is horrible. Uh, once I do plan on funding it, though, later this fall, um, it will be able to solo CPAP pretty comfortably. Uh, so I'll be doing CPAP on this guy every week here later. And maybe, hopefully, I'll get my first pat mark. Next up in line is my Ho Young level 215. Um, through the beginning of this series, kind of within these next few weeks, this is going to be a character that I will play on leveling to 220, which you'll probably see that in episode 2. Um, or you, you'll see the progress of this character hitting 220 on episode 2, because I do want to get this guy to 220 before August 6, aka the next Terror Burning update. The reason why, or you know, season 2 of Terror Burning. The reason why is because once that starts, I want to spend all of my time around that week or so be able to make yet another boss mule, and that's going to be a Kaiser. I spent a whole bunch of money on the Kaiser gear already, 
I, I think I've spent like a total of 1.8 bill. I was saying 1.9 earlier, but I never counted into something that I'm currently reselling for close to 100 mil right now. So it's pretty close to 1.8. And then on top of me having like 100 something mil left over on the initial upgrade of the gear. So it was around 1.8 bill investment in gear, which I will show you guys here in a minute. But the whole young, uh, my weakest or my lowest stat character sitting at like 9.5 with link skills um level six and seven boost nodes but with the guild skills this guy kills chaos vellum in seven minutes ho young is a good class and i love this class a lot i <laughs> I feel like if I started this game in like the summer if I re if I got locked and I restarted There might have been a very likely chance that I would have made Ho Young. I'm not even playing because it... Ho Young's a good class, but because of my natural instinct of me loving Dark Knight as much as I do that probably would not have happened And just in case you guys are interested uh, I have the Kaizen gear on this character because this guy is from burning world and he has a ton of storage thoughts because he's from burning world so i gotta show what i got going on right now for the kaiser two silver blossom rings because one is being transferred in over ifia the third wing the third ring is going to be the event ring the awake ring and then the final ring is going to be a, a a ring of restraint level two because that's just how i work with things this was like 200 mil <laughs> I'm just like, hey, for these big mills, why don't I just go ahead and buy Ring of Restraints for them? Uh, just because, why not? I mean, this and my my Kaiser and my Cannoneer will be the only characters with Ring of Restraints, but I'd rather just go ahead and get a Seed Ring and not wait for yet another Event Ring. So, uh, next up, we've got just, just some 9% stuff, you know, a whole bunch of stuff is 9% and it's an attack bonus pot. The main thing that I ended up working on today, um, before I started recording this, was the Apso weapon for the character. I don't think it's as good as my Soul Master's weapon. As a matter of fact, my Soul Master's weapon is like slightly better, but this comes pretty damn close. Yeah, I can't deny that. This has more attack, you know, but I think overall, with the boss damage and damage that the Soul Master's flame had. That might have been a better flame than what's on here right now but we'll find out whenever we do start playing that kaiser and again you'll see kaiser footage maybe in like episode three of the series also i never mentioned it but the ho young is made for coin capping as well on top of daily bosses uh just like the kid and near is so there's not really much difference between those two and the weekly bosses whenever they can again it does kill up the sea belt but uh Next up, we got a familiar face for those from, uh, that watch the channel. We got the Soul Master. This guy is very important for Luna progression because what I do is I make Meso on Scania and I transfer that Meso to Maple Points and then I transfer the Maple Points to Meso in Luna. So it does help out a lot and I am able to run Ursus on this server as well for a bit of extra money. The amount of Meso I make on Scania per week is usually around 400 mil, but again, starting episode 2 will kind of tally up how much mace will be really make in one week um this guy he does daily bosses and ursus every day no coin capping here because again i told you guys no plans to upgrade more in scania i'm completely skipping the awake event and then finally in burning world we have the team kobe db in which the db in these igns stands for dual blade that's just how things are so we got a zero so these three characters Pathfinder, Windbreaker, and Zero. They're all being transferred to Scania because I already have these characters on Luna. I don't have a Windbreaker on Luna, but I don't really care to have it on Luna. I could just make one on Luna whenever I want to. Um, but I do already have a Pathfinder and a Zero on Luna. So I figured, you know, Scania, just in case I do want to make another series for another season for that series, you know, we'll just go ahead and throw them there. Uh, but then the main character that is going to Luna is a Paladin. This is the final boss meal that I have. So on top of my Dark Knight, which is my main character slash bosser, we've got Cannon Shooter, Bishop, Ho Young, Kaiser, Soul Master, and Paladin. 
that seven characters I run weekly, I'll have to run weekly bosses on every single week. But for the week, or for the second episode covering next week, I'm only going to show the profit from six characters. And that's just the way it is. Now, this guy, because he's on Burning World and Absos are stupid expensive, I do not have any Absos except for the weapon. This is a 17 star maple relay type Abso weapon in which every character in Burning World can receive after hitting level 220. Um, and that's mainly that for the most part. Uh, practically, I'm, this character's done for funding in Burning World. It's as high amount of stat as I care to get it to, which is 10.7. I can get more stat on it through maybe a few simple upgrades. I did want to get these to like 10 and then get this to 7 and whatnot. It'll be, this character plans on being 225 by the end of Burning World. I'm going to get 223 through dailies and coin capping. Um, and then 224 comes from this potion, and 225 comes from Typhoon Potion. So, it's going to be a really easy character to get to 225 with. And then once I get the Arcana symbol, I'll probably get Arcana to like level 4. So once I get all those symbols, and this character is transferred over from uh, Burning to Luna, I'm going to give it permanent CRA, because this is still temporary and really bad. I'm going to give it permanent CRA with much better stats, and I'm also going to be giving it Absolab Armor on top of that as well. It already has the bonus pots to transfer to Absolab Armor, and I just need to, you know, toss a decent shoulder on it. And then once that's done, this character will have a decent amount of stat, and it's pretty much going to be good to go. And I guess whatever event ring comes out after a week, the Paladin will definitely be one to claim that, unless I'm going to get another, another seed ring for the Paladin. Probably not. <laughs> uh, but that, that's basically that. Also, I make the most amount of money off of one single character in Burning World, aside from maybe my Dark Knight doing hard bosses, because the Absolav market here is nasty. So on Burning, I do Lotus and Damien in a party of six, because that's how you should really go about doing those kind of things. I have an escort here to prove it. I also usually get Stigma Stones, but I've already used those to make shoulders. Um, but for the most part, the reason why you do this is because I bought Stigma Stones from the auction house for 700k. About 40 of them, so that's like 28 mil. Made an absolute shoulder. I sold the shoulder for 220 mil. They go for like 60 mil in Luna. They're more in demand and burning because there's not as many. And there's not a lot of people in the Burning World player base that is capable of being able to participate in actually fighting Lotus and Demi. So I have a huge, huge advantage in Burning because of that. Um, I also made an Archer Cape with two S cores. I bought the A cores. I spent like 50 mil on A cores. I sold the Cape for 400 mil. 350 mil profit from an Absol Cape. That same cape in Luna would have been worth less than 100 mil. This is why I play Burning World. And this is why I will continue to play Burning World until it's completely over in September. When Abso prices start dropping, I mean, who knows when they're going to start dropping because I most certainly don't. But we're just going to have to wait and see what happens to the market and stuff and whatnot and we'll figure it out. What I plan to do with the Burning World Meso on top of the 1.1 build that I've already spent on burning on trying to pull a Luna Petite pet and I failed and I pulled a dream pet instead which is actually a net loss of 900 mil uh, so I, I lost a lot of money from that um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy legendary accessories you know I'm gonna go try to get Meso gear from my Dark Knight through Burning World now excluding the Absos just like the Soul Master, I am able to make around 400 mil a week from burning. So if the Absol stay the same price, I can be looking at like 800 to 900 mil a week, assuming I get really good RNG on the cores and the stone drops. So with that money, um, the first thing I have planned is I want to buy a level or just a legendary face in general for warriors. Um, it doesn't even have to have Mesa on it, and then boom, we have one worth 1.5 bill, which is actually much better than what I normally saw. If I had 1.1, if I had 1.5 bill right now, I would have just copped this immediately. 
Now, it doesn't really have Mesa on it, um, but that's completely fine because we do have, you know, mileage red cubes from the cash shop or Meister cubes from the awake shop to be able to attempt to cube it for Mesa Obtain. The hard part about getting Meso equips isn't exactly rolling Meso on Legendary, it's just getting Legendary to begin with that makes it so expensive. So the earliest I could see this character getting its first piece of Legendary, uh, of a Legendary accessory, will be around hmm, probably the second episode for sure. And then we're going to try and cube that and see if we can land Meso. If not, you know, it's GG. We got 10 Meister Cubes in the shop we're going to try to use on it, and we're just going to see what happens. And yes, this is the one character this week that I have yet to do weekly bosses on, uh, so I could probably do a quick little Chaos Film Showcase towards the end of the episode after I get a few other things done. But I figured while I'm recording this, I might as well go to the Awakening Mountain and show you guys what's up. Uh, just, you know, for the coin shop. This is going to be skimming through real fast. Don't really got to explain anything, you know, too much into detail. This is a Rock Spirit Android, quite literally, and I just might get it. This is the Awake Damage Skin. I currently use this Damage Skin on my Dark Knight. And this is a fashion set, the one that you saw my whole young wear. Um, chair, mount, cool looking mount. I bought this mount. Damage Skin, random box. I hate the Damage Skin. Selective box. I hate the Damage Skins. Damage skin slot, this could be convenient. 40 slot, chair, bag, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, this chair. This is yet another coupon for another NX, uh, another NX set, which is sort of like the one that I showed in the summer update announcement video. I, I didn't really show the full set, but you can kind of see a couple of items there. And then here are the AFK chairs. There are only AFK chairs for points, no EXP AFK chairs. Moving on, we have arcane symbols, no selectors, just the symbol straight up. But for the higher level the symbol is, with high level the area, the more expensive the symbols cost. We got honor medals, we got gemstones, I'm going to get these on my Kaiser. We got circulators, I don't really plan on using any of these. Uh, trade boost potion, I used four of them to max out one of my, I think, imp empathy for the buff duration on this character. I used four of them for that. Last one, be charmed for the Kaiser. We got inventory slot expansions, probably get these on the Kaiser as well. Uh, character slots, so you know, I'll, I'll, don't, I don't really care for these. I have enough character slots as it is. Um, SP, AP resets, nasty books, 10 per world are tradable. Uh, monster booms, these are like three per world. And then monster life gems, which is five per world instead of per character. They kind of fuck you over on that one. It, it's tough. And then the job change coins, three per world. As you can see, they change a lot of things to be per world, so it's not exactly as nice anymore. Uh, talk to do right here. This is the bamboo shop. This is from donating 200 coins to the rank up system. You get five of these items per week. Um, currently sitting on all these items are per world, and the amount you can buy per day depends on your rank. If you're the first rank, you can only buy one per day. If you're the second rank, two per day. And the final rank, which is on August 20th, you can buy three per day. So we got Meister Cubes. We got a pill that gives you 30% mob damage and 20% crit rate for one hour. We got a pill that gives you 2x EXP for one hour, a pill that gives you 20 star force for one hour, a pill that gives you 30 arcane force for one hour, and a pill that increases your chances of monster collection by 50% for one hour. So, oh, that's going to be really convenient if they have a 2x event. I'm going to try to cop one of those uh, and then use the archer link with that. Uh, we got Monster Park Reborn tickets. We have a teleport pendant, which is going to be hybrid teleport rock and GMS bounty hunter portal coupon, fatigue potion, 500 power lexers, and arcane symbols, which only go up to latch for some reason. And it's three per bamboo. So that's it for the bamboo shop. Going up to the second shop that unlocked here on July 23rd, we have event ring Meister cubes. These I made a little bit of gain off of these, but they're there. You can buy about 50 of them per world. Epic pot scrolls, bonus potential scrolls, and our hammers. Um, we have NO scrolls, pot stamps for main pot and bonus pot. We got the master craftsman cubes, maestro cubes, additional potential cubes, pet scrolls. I'm going to be buying this for the Luna Dream pet that I plan on getting. I need to get a pet equipped for that. Um, 
We got Karma, Rainbow Flames, which only works on the trade will equips. Karma, Red Flames, Karma, Meister Cubes, Karma, Additional Potential Cubes, uh, a Corp, and Icogs. Karma Icogs. I don't have any plans for Icogs yet, I'm, I feel. I just don't really want to use them. And then we got the Mesa Shop, which is more Rainbow Flames. We have more Red Flames. Fairy Roid, which is 300 mil. I don't plan on buying a Fairy Roid because you don't need a Fairy Roid to use a Fairy Heart. And then we got some mounts here that are 50 mil. More mounts that are 200 mil. And then we got some 200 mil chairs and some 50 mil chairs. Moving on to the last shop that unlocks on August 20th. Um, we will be having EXP Core Gemstones, which is going to be used on the Kaiser. Uh, we're going to have Chaos Circulator. I think we're going to get these for Bishop, to be honest. Black Flames. I'll test my luck on the weapon. Uh, I tried to use 40 Rainbow Flames on my weapon with no success, so I had to Red Flame it back to Tier 6 attack. We got some more symbols. Um, I feel like most of those, like the symbols, will probably be going towards the Bishop, maybe. Other characters don't exactly need it as much. Uh, we got Medal of Honor, you know, gemstones. You can buy five of these boxes. More flames, buy one of each. Five red cubes, five black cubes. That sucks because past summer events gave ten. I don't know why they decided to give us five this time around. Five bonus cubes, real bonus cubes. And um, we got five, or not five, but one unique potential scroll for 5,000 coins. So that'll be going towards the fairy heart that I plan on getting once I actually do end up getting it. So the Meso Shop, 15 star scroll for 600 mil, Icogs for 35 mil, premium accessory for attack scrolls for one bill. They get four to five attack. Pretty sure it's more likely to get four than five. Um, and then we got premium pet scrolls for attack, which is four to five attack on a pet equip. The fairy heart, which is 200, I mean, to bill we have the I guess Android earpiece removal we have some skin coupons these are like really popular skins for KMS players so I'm surprised they're only worth 500 mil and then this weird little hat and this overall that seems like they're worth way more than they should be I don't know why this hat is so expensive I've seen hats like these sell for like 10 bill it's just this exact same hat. It's legit just a customization hat that goes on top of your head. Uh, this came from um, one of the events in the Nova batch three years ago when he had to use like ice cream cones. And there was a really, really small chance he would pull this hat. And this hat is, for some reason, just worth a lot. But I don't know why. It just is. <laughs> but anyway, that is the Awake Shop. And that's going to be with that. On top of the 300 coins you have to cap per day, 600 on Sundays, we have the Punch King, which you can claim up to 130 extra coins uh, per world on, you know, on one character. If you're really strong, you can get the 130 coins because it's really no easy feature to be able to get that many coins, and that's really just the way it is. But as far as I'm concerned, reset is near. And that's all the things I'm going to be doing on this character for today before reset. So after reset, I do have a couple things that I want to test out involving the new V skill, which I haven't even talked about in general at all. So reset is passed. It is Monday now, meaning it is time for me to claim my points. I don't think it shows the percentage. Oh, it did last week. I ended up playing 450 for the first time last week, thanks to the new V skill. So I'm happy about that. I ended up in top 11%, so that means I got 18,000 points, dang. I was hoping for 20,000, but it'd be like that. Uh, so with that, I'm already just going to go ahead and buy one of these, a oak dummy, because I love oak dummies. I'm going to do a battle analysis test. So the test will feature the new 4th V skill, Darkness Aura. Uh, Basically what it does is it gives me a shield and every like second or two it takes doing 880% damage five times, you know, five lines, um, and it gives me one life force. At the end of it, I get to do the explosion that does 13 lines of 1400% damage. And for every three life force I get while the skill is active, the explosion does another 13 lines. 
The life force caps at 15, so the explosion can do up to 78 lines of 1400% damage. That's a lot of damage right there. <laughs> and I really love using this skill for burst because it's a huge damage increase for me. Um, it did require me to change up my BA rotation a little bit on how I do have the burst work. But overall, it shouldn't exactly be too difficult. So I'm going to go ahead and put this thing down as soon as I use sharp eyes and change up the V matrix a little for what I need. All BA is done with the green pot. Just going to be a nice little 40 second level 230 dummy BA. It's nice to do this on the first episode just to see in future episodes on how much we actually end up improving on our 40 second time. I know 40 seconds is only really meaningful for hard lucid. I, I just I just like to do them at this point. Uh, we're going to do a little run test here to see if this thing is working properly. Should be fine. Alright. Uh, so what I will do is I'm going to go ahead and start buffing up. And then at the start of the BA, I press my aura button and my spider button. And I just attack like normal. Halfway in, I use the AB buff because the AB buff is 20 seconds long. Thanks to my buff duration. And then like 25 seconds in, that's when I pop the roar and I use Cyclone. And then at the end of Cyclone, I use the last hit of uh, Darkness Aura for a whole bunch of lines. And then that's kind of how I get the 40 second BA off for Dark Knight. Let's go ahead and get this thing started. Now. Alright. So 10 seconds in. To be honest, I don't really use Nightshade Explosion that often. Maybe I should. Four, five, Cyclone. And then I gotta remember to do the explosion on top of the last hit. Thing, boom. Eight, nine, doom, and then that's it. One point five three trillion. I had a better one. I feel like the reason why this is low is because I didn't time fatal strike properly. Um, looking at it, Cyclone, of course, did the most of it. Gungnir and Darkness Aura was about the same, and then we got Dark Spear and whatnot. Darkness Aura did do one hundred ninety three lines. And then Spider doing 4.87. I might go ahead and do one more. Because I've done so much better. I don't know. Like I've. I need to see if I can make it to 1.6. But again. It was mainly because I was able to. Destroy the shield. While I was inside. Um, or while I did have Fatal Strike up. And that really really inflated the BA a little bit. Okay. I'm going to do another one. Though I honestly feel like this probably won't change much. That was a little, little choppy start there. I'm not very good at starting BAs. <laughs> That's just the way it is. 13. I, don't, I just stopped attacking out of nowhere. I'm gonna go ahead and cycle right now. That was bad. See, <laughs> it takes a little bit of practice to get some things down. Last hit. Eight. Nine. Ten. See, that was worse. So I feel like when I do these more consistently, I am around 1.5 instead of 1.6. Um, again, timing that second fatal strike for the explosion is quite difficult to do. And um, I, I can't exactly be too reliant on it. Well... I guess while I have time, also the stream thing is on, of course, classic me. Uh, I'm going to attempt to solo Normal Lucid. Now, Normal Lucid, especially as a Dark Knight, is no easy boss. No easy boss at all. I'm going to need some of these potions. This is the invincibility potion. I can use these for a free pass on a bomb. Uh, the only issue with these... Oh god, these are worth a lot. I'm going to buy two anyway. 
And the only issue with these is that um, if if my potions are on cooldown, I was trying to think. I got it now. If my potions are on cooldown, then these things are on cooldown as well. And if they don't make it in time for bomb, I sort of get screwed. And there's a chance I could just end up wasting one. So here we are throwing out 10 mil down the drain just to attempt a normal lucid solo. Um, I also realized that I don't have Erda's will anymore, so I might need to open the nodes I have in my inventory to be able to craft that because that's going to be important for trying to see if we can get rid of some bombs that might end up being on us. I ended up opening 9 and I got it. I got a bleach shield and I'm actually sort of kind of leveling it, so I'll go ahead and put that there too. What I'll do is get this, and uh, I honestly don't think I'm going to be able to clear. And the reason why is mainly because of just the whole idea with um, just dying out. Like, I feel like I'm extremely likely to die out to, like, bombs and stuff. Now, as far as I'm concerned with my build, I might have to get rid of these two. I, I know it's weird that I'm getting rid of Blitz Shield. Uh, but I, I I'm sh shoot it be like that. I, I kind of want to take these two, though. I'm not sure how I feel about body of steel in general. Like this is mainly like the damage buff, but at the same time, it is a four minute cooldown. So taking blitz shield might not exactly be the worst idea over body of steel, to be honest. Not to mention, I don't even have bind on. There's so many like things I need to put on. And then it's like, I don't really want to pay for this because this costs 400 mil. And it's trying to prefer one thing over the other, and all of them are really good. And that's tough. It's hard. I think I might just have to do Erda's Will and Bind. Lucid or normal Lucid solo. Doing Lucid solo in general is one of the only occasions I would actually use this. Um, otherwise, it wouldn't really matter too much. But it's all good. I'm gonna put him down and uh, I'm gonna run pink bean so I can get that attack buff and then we'll be on our way to attempt it. So one of the worst possible things happened in the awake patch. They moved the ragdoll dreams down here. So when you take the warp from the maple guide to dream defender, you end up at the town. You don't end up at the top of the clock tower anymore. Also they reverted that quality of life change to where you can use town scrolls in the top of the clock tower. Um, they reverted it because, well, the ragdoll isn't there anymore, but it's really annoying, and I don't exactly like that, so, I guess if that's how Nexon wants to be, then so be it. I can't exactly teleport to the top of the clock tower anymore, I have to walk there from town, but that's okay, because I'm just about there. For phase one of Lucid, the idea for me is to kind of die at the start through reincarnation, to be honest, because I'm not going to be expected to kill Phase 1 until the second cast of Reincarnation. So I have to stall Phase 1 as much as I possibly can in order to make that actually happen. So let me go ahead and put this on. Also, my invincibility potions are on F3. I cannot forget that. I need to put these on. I'm going to use up all my buffs. I've got this, this. Four, five, six, seven, Ursus, eight. Maybe I gotta do practice mode because I run hard in a party in real mode. Use all those buffs. And then I think that should be good. So normal practice. I don't wanna use up any buff freezers anyway, so let's get this thing started. So going in, just go ahead and use most of my buffs immediately. But as far as uh, other things are concerned, you know, if a golem stomps on me, I'm going to let it stomp on me. I'm not really going to try and move or avoid anything because, like I said, I do kind of want to die. In which I did proc reincarnation right now. So, darkness aura, come out. And then I'm saving a lot of big bad skills for the burst. 30 seconds of darkness aura. I can use Dark Thirst. It's 
20 seconds. A B. Probably go ahead and start bursting now. There we go. A bunch of cyclone damage over three bills. I see some fours. Probably go ahead and cap on the last hit with that. Explode. Five bill explosions. Just uh, just the right amount. And I still got 30 seconds left on reincarnation. So chances are, if I'm really lucky, I might be able to take down half of phase one's health bar before I actually drop dead. And then once I'm dead, it's gonna be the worst, like, eight to nine minutes of my life. This dragon, I'm booking on tanking it. There's five seconds left. I'm good. Yeah, I'm good, okay. Reincarnation is gone. I'm back to normal. Right, we'll go through that. Careful now. I actually take damage. Kind of don't want to die too much. I do want to stall. Oh, no, my God. I rushed in place. That's ridiculous. So now every time I die, I have to just wait out this timer. I'm in danger, though, because I haven't cleansed. So what I'm going to see if I can do... What I'm going to try to do is maybe sacrifice a life to be able to attempt to cleanse. Wait, no, 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 no. I can cleanse from here. I can cleanse from here. I can cleanse from here. Good. Now, I play like I'm scared. I know Lucid still has aggro for me on here. So, like, if I get teleported, I'm kind of dead. You know, so be it. But at the same time, I do want to stay kind of far away. Just so I can ensure that I can live for the longest amount of time possible. There's a bomb, invincibility potion, use that. Uh, so that was probably around like 26, 40 something. So maybe the next bomb will be scheduled for like two minutes from now. Also my burst is pretty much ready, but I'm not gonna use that till the next life more than likely. Mainly because I do want to have that resistance. What am I saying? I do want to have the resistance iframe just to be a little safe but I'll go ahead and actually well should I risk it I'm risking it fine I'm not supposed to be bursting right now because I don't have enough life force to want to warrant that but it'd be like that sometimes let's go that probably only did like four explosions oh my so easily avoidable <laughs> and that just happens like that. But then there comes the dragon. You see. Okay, well, bomb was like a minute ago. Minute 15, perhaps. Mm, I gotta remember that. Just cleansed. Remember, I gotta play the pansy route for a little bit. That's just the way things have to be. Especially while I don't have any burst up. But it'll be fine. Reincarnation is up in a little over four minutes. Um, I don't know how many times I'm going to die before then. Also, bomb soon, probably. So I'm going to... Hero's Will. And just to be on the safe side, I'll go ahead and use Erdo Will now. Because there are they are butterfly animations, and there is a pretty slim chance that I might have... What the hell? Thought I might have been able to get rid of a bomb from that. You know, I just want to play it a little safe. But, dang it! The idea is to go into phase 2, maybe with 5 lives? I think with 5 lives, I might be able to do something out of that. But, it's looking kind of scary right now. I'm not sure what to say. I'll cleanse right now anyway. I'm not sure how likely I am to be able to get a good burst off, though. Teleport and Dragon will be, like, the number one thing that actually ends up legitimately killing me. There's Dragon right there. So if it's on left side, cool. Please don't teleport me, though. That would be very nice. Also, Sharp Eyes needs a recast. 
There we go. Oh, wait, the glove's not on. Okay, cool. Um, my burst is ready, but again, I'm super scared. Just a YOLO. Hell yeah. This is gonna be a terrible mistake. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Hold on. I'm healing through this. We. Also, I realize I haven't really been putting on um, hyper body and iron will, but what the hell? How how was I able to do that? Blow it up, blow it up, blow it up. That was that was splendid. That was splendid. The drain, the life force, the fact that I was able to just tank those golem hits like crazy that entire cyclone cast. I loved it. Um I I couldn't really do anything to that bomb though. So now really I have two minutes left until reincarnation, two minutes left till I can clear this phase. So the main idea when I do come back to life is to just wait till reincarnation. That is literally the main goal on what I need to be doing. I didn't time that bomb, but that should be okay. I'll cleanse. The odds of me staying alive until reincarnation are really low. If I die once, it's okay, but if I die twice... It gets a little little tough. So we just gonna be chucking spears at Lucid until she decides to either send off another dragon or teleport me to golems again and I actually won't be able to defend myself from that this time. So uh what What a teleport What a what a teleport holy crap I'm stuck but Wow dragon Right side. We're gonna try this. <laughs> I I had a feeling. <laughs> I think it might have just been best to stay a little bit in place. But we got 44 seconds left on reincarnation, so I think I'm in it for a clear for this phase. With five lives remaining, which means phase two is gonna be a little. It's gonna be a little tough. I just need to know. Just, just, just not die to anything except bombs, you know? Like, I'll probably let the first bomb slide on me, but after that, I really gotta start looking at the times of bombs because it's gonna be super important. Uh, cleanse. Oh my god, I have 10 seconds, please. Resistance link is over, 7 seconds. Don't, don't do anything ridiculous. Okay. I think it's safe to say that reincarnation is officially available. And I can make my way into the second phase. Let's start forcing my way through these golems. That's it. That's it right there. I probably don't need to burst this hard. But it doesn't matter. Maybe I can take Darkness Aura with me into the second phase. No, I should be able to. No, 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 no. Go, 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 go. Cool. So, like, a 10-minute first phase, as expected. I don't think I'm going to be able to. There's 15 seconds left on it. I This cutscene, hurry up. I need to be able to just go in and just blow up the shield. Get the life force, boom. Too easy. Alright, so, like I said, I'll let the first bomb hit me. And I gotta really look after, like, what she's doing. Whew. That's laser. Also, this is normal mode. Falling down in normal mode has no repercussions. What? Yet I still... <laughs> I still cheat it like it does. Oh, wait. Reincarnation was still active. I wonder if I got really lucky and I missed a bomb cast. Oh. Say, say what? Oh, so that was around like 1845. I'm still going to stay dead. Because the idea is to be able to, you know, still try to use reincarnation one more time. It's a lot more likely in phase two than it is in phase one. We do have about eight minutes left. And if we can do that... We might be able to have ourselves in for a clear. 
Luckily, we've got Invincibility Potion for the next bomb. Again, this bomb happened at around 1845. So what we need to do is we're going to estimate the bomb being around maybe like 1645 or something. I have Burst up in a little bit and bind this up with that too. So I can do all that noise. Hopefully, okay, I need to be careful with that. I can't greed. That probably would have killed me if this was hard. Dragon. So dragon. Make sure I just go ahead and make myself get up here. I don't think I can hit it from here. Oh, lasers. How convenient. Uh, it should be fine, though. Yeah. Try to use up all my... Whoa! The golem knocked me back. Use these. Sharp eyes is just about gone. Darkness aura. Make sure it's hitting things so I can get life force. Maybe I should actually consider using hyper body and iron will, huh? <laughs> Maybe just once. Okay. It's bad. A B bomb. Wait, I have 10 seconds on the invincibility potion? Why? No, I... This is terrible. That was terrible. That was terrible. I'm... I'm sad. I'm disappointed. Why did the invincibility potion have, like, no time left? One of those just ridiculous deaths, you know? But that happened around, you know, a little bit two minutes after, I suppose. Let's touch. Whew. I know I revived a little late, but I really didn't want to let that kind of burst go to waste. It does suck, though. Right now, the chances of me clearing seem extraordinarily low. But I'm not going to go ahead and give in just yet. I should also probably consider cleansing. Maybe right now I can clutch it. Good. I fell, I fell. Heal, heal, heal. Jump up. Jump up. Okay. So I, I need to figure out what warranted that timer on the invincibility potion. I was like, oh, it looks like one second left, but no, it was like 12. Like, I, I can't take the bomb with 12 seconds left on that. Anyway, I'm at 6 right now. Oh, bomb, 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 bomb. Got it. That was like a minute and a half later. Also, dragon. Okay, we'll, we'll go up here. Bomb happened around like 15, 20 ish, 15, 15. So I've got both of my heroes' wills to go ahead and test a little something, something out. If I'm lucky, then I'll be able to dodge another bomb and maybe live in the fight for another two minutes. But if I'm not, then it's kind of tough luck going from there. Why? I, I don't even think that'd be possible right now. Laser. Who knows, maybe around the time bomb is scheduled to happen, it'll be in the middle of touch. Um, oh, oh, watch out. Let's see Zora. Also, Sharp Eyes isn't on. Be real careful here. Golden breaks that. Dragon. What does Lucy decide to do? I'll go over here. Crap. This is kind of bad. Because she could be using bomb in any moment. Touch. Okay, so this is when she's going to be really likely to use bomb. Also, I'm not going to get the explosion off. That's sad. Might as well just use it on golems. That killed a few. Okay, watch. Watch her carefully. I'm going to use both of my hero's will skills. Now, 
That was Erna's will. I don't know what she did there, but here's will. Okay, now I just have to sit here and hope that I sink the bomb. I'm cycloning. Okay, I'm in rage. This is like, yeah, I'm just gonna cyclone just cause. The good news is. <sighs> Fuck this bus. <laughs> The good news is I have reincarnation, 100%. It is most certainly going to happen. It is most certainly going to happen, but that's not going to guarantee me clearing this because I'm only halfway into the second phase. She's got 6 trillion health left, and I I can't guarantee a damn thing. But we're we going to try. We're going to try. If I'm lucky enough, then... Because like, I, I can't do anything against bombs at my current position right now. There is a minute left until reincarnation, so if I'm lucky enough, I'll be able to cast it when I have two lives. It's a little risky to attack right here. No, it's not. Not anymore. I'm cooling. We got 40 seconds. I don't know what she's doing right now. She just used uh, Crescents, I think. Go down. Up, 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 up. Or is up in a little minute here. Touch. I will. We'll just stack a life force on these guys. Too bad my roar and my cyclone aren't up anytime soon, so maybe that wasn't the best idea. And then here I go, not paying attention to cleansing. The good news, though, is this does um, eat up time that doesn't need to be eat up. But I'm kind of sad because it wasn't supposed to end up being like this. So now I'm probably going to have to blow this thing up once I do see her on site. Oh, what? See, that only did, like, 39 lines. You gotta be really cautious with how that skill is used. Bind is up. On top of reincarnation. Why don't I go ahead and use sharp eyes? Okay. Dragon. But uh, I'm not going to burst until reincarnation at this rate. If I'm extremely lucky, I might be able to have my invincibility potion at like the last life for another bomb. Because I'm going to go ahead and tank this one here. Just eat this shit. And then whatever she decides to do. Just find her. Don't, oh, don't leave the roar. Alright, cool. Nice! I like that. We, we'll take those. Now go up and chuck your spear. Oh, what the fuck? Uh oh. How about I cleanse in a minute? Whenever she does something. No, I should cleanse. Like now. Laser, we'll go ahead and use Risk Taker. When she's back, just Risk Taker. Just pray she doesn't use Touch immediately after. We can't have that. Oh my god, she used Touch. It was like 10 seconds after. I gotta switch my ring. It's completely meaningless. And there's still two full health bars left. Bad footing right now. Dragon. I 
I just kind of blew that up. Go up! Go up! I hope that wasn't bomb. I'm just going to use heals on the next one. I really have no choice but to attempt to guess. Now. I think that might have been butterflies and that kind of screwed me over. I fell. I'm not going to have reincarnation, so if I do die to bomb and have one life left, I revive on the spot. Laser. Keep it coming, keep it coming. Dragon. This is your last health bar. We'll move over here. We'll take what we can get. Remember, once bomb happens, you just revive. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> that scared me. Okay, bomb. Revive. A B buff. Get in there. Please don't do anything. Oh god. Ah! ah. No! No! Bruh. This is the last HP bar. Dragon, go up, go up, go up. That golem. Okay. She's doing something. Laser touch. I didn't see her. Laser. Move out the way. Heal up. taking too damn long I'm taking too damn long I got my shield up the bomb was on me my invincibility potion was on cool My first normal lucid solo clear. I don't care if it was practice mode. I ate that. That shield explosion, darkness aura, MVP is over. I still can't believe that happened the way it did. That was ridiculous. <laughs> anyway, I got hard bosses coming up here soon. So I'll record the ending of those and then post like what drops I get. If any, hopefully I get some arcanes. What we get? I didn't get shit. I didn't get shit. Oh, I thought y'all said we got a drop. I thought I saw something. God, I thought know. I saw something. You're always fucking asking, give me a chance, give me a chance. Yeah, that's a belt. Yo, nothing. Oh, it's up! We got something. Oh, wait. What we get? I got a weapon. Yo. I got oh. a... Y'all got y'all know RR, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it, it's tier six. Attack on okay, drop. I'm gonna drop the weapon, bro. Oh my god! All right, link it, link it, Neo, link it. Oh yeah, I gotta look the other side. All right, so it's been a couple of days since the normal lucid solo when the hard boss runs, but uh, I wanna try better next week to uh, record the run clears and see what drops you guys are you know or so you guys can see what drops we get as you kind of sort of saw nothing came from will i got an arcane polearm from lucid which is going to be split among everybody uh it's worth like a bill 
so that should be about 160 mil coming my way whenever it sells um, and then we we kind of failed hard bonus it was a really tough week and I had we had problems preferably with me trying to get back together to run again uh, so it was my mistake for that so I ended up clearing normal this week and then for Damien we got um, I don't even remember what we got for Damien <laughs> Considering I don't remember, it probably was something too crazy. But anyway, here I am on Burning World. This will end off the episode. Um, and I'm going to be doing Seville on my Paladin. So you guys can see a little bit of Paladin gameplay featuring Paladin's fourth V skill of the uh, Throwing Hammers. Because it's a really nice skill, and I actually like it quite a bit. So before I go in, I'm going to make sure I buff up quite a bit. Three, four, five. Paladin needs all five stacks from the charges. I'm gonna go ahead and use my decents. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use externals now. I have no buff freezers. So if I die. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm a paladin. There's no way I can die, right? I got Ursus. Make sure I keep my stacks up. And then I'm in the number one guild, therefore 60 noblest points. I'm gonna go ahead and use all of these. And now, it is time for me to keep it going and go to Seville. So, I actually did Seville earlier this week. And by earlier this week, I mean earlier today. Uh, I just ended up resetting it. Last run was like 8 minutes. And after I clear Seville again this run, I should be able to open a Fafnir weapon. Which, CRA and Fafnir, they go for a lot on the server. I'm talking a lot. Like, Fafnir, I could probably sell for 100 mil. First, I'll just buy and use Grand Cross, because I don't need to threaten for Grand Cross. Because Grand Cross already comes in with a built-in 100 IED. I gotta stay a little far away from that. Alright, it's under threaten now. And, um, usually, with threaten, I do around 45 mil lines with Holy Unity. And then about 80 mil lines. Um... 45 mil with Blast, 80 mil with Sanctuary, which is also called Heaven's Hammer, I'm pretty sure. And this is the 4th V scale in action. It does a lot of hits for what it's casted for, and it's really, really nice. I'll probably use Sanc Sanctuary. I'm not sure if that was the best time to use it, though, to be honest. Fireballs? Nah. Okay. I'll wait to throw my hammers again for Fireballs. I can only store up to two, and I'm about to store my second one right now. So yeah, go ahead and throw it right now. It's a 15 second cooldown for storing hammers, but the skill itself has a two and a half second cooldown. So really the best way to deal with it is mainly to just make sure you don't have two hammers going unless you absolutely need to, like you're saving them for an attack or something. I'm not sure how effective I can combo it with like Grand Cross or anything when I bind. I would have to use the hammers and then bind and then use Grand Cross because Grand Cross does last like 10 seconds. It would need to last throughout the entire bind timer. Um, so I would most certainly have to use the throwing hammer and then bind and then use Grand Cross. Speaking of, it has about 40 seconds left. I use your Grand Cross about maybe four to five times in this fight. Holy Unity is about up. Holy Unity, the 50% final damage skill for me right now. Huge, huge increase. Oh, decents. I gotta move out of the way to use decents. Um, I have two hammers stored. I'm just gonna go ahead and store it. Let's see how long it takes. It just stays stuck there until it feels like it doesn't want to be there anymore. But, uh, here we have the Grand Cross up in 5. So I'll probably buy next time he's up. Yeah. Oh, fine now. There we go. We got him. And just Grand Cross. Making sure I keep my stacks up and all so I don't lose that elemental. Because if I lose that elemental, I lose a ton of damage. I lose damage reduction that's on me. Because, you know, Paladins are crazy with that. And then these Spinning Hammers that are on me as well, I lose those too. So it'll be a massive damage loss. I guess whenever he does cast fireballs, I 
can usually get one throwing hammer on them. If not, it's like a second one at the very end. That should still be fine. I'm gonna go ahead and use this. He's gonna use poison yet. He's around that health, but he should. I don't know why he hasn't. I'm kind of saving my hammers for that. Or fireball, which I can do right now. Also, I can literally tank tails and not die from them because of how Paladin works. But because I'm just so used to dodging tails, I still continue to dodge him because, you know, I would still rather play safe. Especially since, you know, if I die, I, I don't have buff freezers and that would kind of screw me over. Here we go. Go hammer. I'll throw the second one right now. I can't see anything. Okay, cool. Yeah, skills becoming way too flashy nowadays is a bit of a flaw. Because now you can't really see much. Oh wait, I should not use... I'm not going to use Holy Unity yet. I am going to wait until... Like... A few more seconds. Probably like 10, 15 seconds. Because I want to be able to have Holy Unity and Grand Cross being used at the same time. So if I use if I used Holy Unity as soon as it got off of cooldown, then um, it wouldn't line up with Grand Cross, making Grand Cross do bad damage. But it can line up now. Way pretty nicely paced run. Let's go ahead and eat the hammer on that. Also, current range right now three mil with all these buffs and stuff. Looking pretty solid. 204 boss, 86 IED. Oh, that's laser time. So IED feels a little low. I'm mostly around 86. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm not at 86 right now. I must have changed something. But whatever I change, I guess it's nothing like too bad. Also, I need to hurry up. And bind. Now, go. I'm stud. <laughs> it's all good, though. Holy Unity has five seconds left. Grand Cross is like a second longer. So I'm glad I used it right now. Because it could have been worse. Okay. Fireballs. Cool. Fireballs. Let's use that. Spinning Hammer again. Go. Move. Almost dead. I'm sure one more Grand Cross will do the trick. Go ahead and threaten again. I feel like there's also a bug with the game recently to where I feel like Threaten isn't showing properly on the boss. Like, I think the effect is still in there. The effect is still there. But it, it just doesn't want to show on the boss sometimes. Like, I, it doesn't really show unless he does some sort of inputs like fireballs or poison or laser. Let's see. Because he had it up, now he doesn't have it up. And now that he used that, Threaten is up. It, it's a bit of a bug, which I'm not really sure how that bug even came to be to begin with. But it does bother me, because it always felt like I wasn't using Prey. I'm sorry, I wasn't using Threaten. And um, I was continuously recasting it until I saw that he had it on. So I was like, okay, I'll just remember to use it every 30 seconds. So I can avoid this silly mistake. I've had Sacro up for I don't know how long now, but it's been up. We are going to. Uh, we're not going to Unity yet. There's still time. Need to wait maybe a good 10 seconds or so. Up jump. Or, well, I didn't even need to right there. Okay, we Unity now. And then we'll never. He comes back up. I'll just go ahead and use sync. Okay, not here. But next one. Sync. I don't think that was fireballs. Yeah, just by sound effects. Oh, that's sad. Okay. He just does not want to attack today. Okay, how about now? Alright, cool. I'm gonna kill him with the screen cross. Uh, around the same time as my last run. Not too bad. Looks like a 
decent amount of marks just dropped. So I'm gonna go ahead and take them. And then the weapon I'm gonna pull to sell for the Burning War people. Oh, is that a Seagull hat? That is not a Seagull hat. The weapon I'm gonna sell to the Burning War people is an Ancient Bow. Because flames are hardly accessible when burning, I have to pray to the gods of RNG and see if this Ancient Bow can get a lot of really good flames. But I kinda doubt it. I could probably still sell it for like 100 mil regardless versus Luna. Where this thing was is probably gonna be worth like three to four mil. That's just how the market works. It's pink, 20 attack, 29 magic attack. I guess I won't reflame 20 attack. Flames are so scarce here, but I'm sure 20 attack could sell for a decent amount. I don't think there's any listed right now. Ooh. Oh, that's 52 attack. That's really good. I wish I could pull something like that. That's probably one of the highest tiers you could pull. The cheapest ancient bow sold with this flame was about 90 mil. Another trash one sold. I mean, I gotta look at some more of the recent ones. Um, what sold? Okay, 20 attack. That's it. This sold like four days ago for 96 mil. I think I might have to put it up for like 90 to 95. Uh, I'll do like 92.5. So maybe not exactly 100 mil, but this might be able to sell. Either way, it's still really decent, and this is the reason on top of Absos, as well as to why I have nearly 1.5 bill in this world. And yes, through the past few days, I was able to manage, to, I managed to make a few hundred mil, uh, just by doing my dailies and selling whatever. Actually, I should sell my Ecole Cubes. Now, cold cubes and Luna are worth like 67k each. I don't really have much of a use for them in Burning Wood anymore. And they're worth 266k each year. I'll be Mr. Nice Guy and put mine up for like 265. Which makes them worth 55 mil. And then I still have the crystal to sell for like 21 mil. And then I'll be at 1.5 bill. Ridiculous Mesa income and burning. It's just absolutely insane to be honest. So whenever the ancient bow and the cube sell, um, I'll go ahead and put all the money in the storage and start for zero for next week's episode when I start talking about how much money I can make in general outside of, um, or just with everything that I do in this game in one week. That week I'm gonna try and, and try my best to be able to do Chaos Pap, Lotus and Damien on not only my cannon shooter, but my soul master as well. Um, I kind of stopped running those just because they take too long. But just in a week where I have so much time that I can run those, you know, I might as well go ahead and do it. But maybe then you guys get to see my weekly income playing six characters that can clear weekly bosses. Two of them that run hard bosses and running on three separate worlds running Ursus nine times a day. So it's going to be quite an episode showing the meso income and i'm looking forward to seeing how much i actually make because i don't even know the actual amount i just when i say the number i just round up what's close to it so i get to be able to find this out myself on how much money i can actually make in a single week uh i try i'll try my best for this and not count hard boss drops um because if i get something super lucky next week through hard bosses mm, man it's gonna be crazy but it'd be like that thank you all so much for watching this is gonna be a series that might take some time for me to really get used to and get into a little bit more now this first episode if you're watching towards the end might not come out for a wednesday release maybe a thursday release but it'd be like that sometimes and i'll catch you guys in the next one again i also want to say and i'm keeping the video going that this series will not have any seasons it's just gonna be an episode every week if there is no episode on a certain week i'll let you guys know and it's gonna go straight towards whenever i feel like i don't want to record this anymore which won't be for a while so there's gonna be a lot of content to come and then there's also gonna be a lot more content coming that's really not part of the series because i still have to do like some legitimate showcases on the new v skills and then we got the third patch coming soon with union arena in the level 240 or cane river area coming up so i got a lot to cover especially after not recording anything for a month <laughs>